What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Recently on the channel, we took a look at an upcoming x86 powered SBC, and in that video, we were running Windows 11 Pro, but in this one, I wanted to test out Bazi OS. Basically, Steam Deck operating system here that'll work on this little board. And with the specs this little single board computer has, we're seeing some really great performance. If you're interested in seeing this thing run Windows and games in Windows, I'll leave a link for that video down below. But in this one, we're going to be testing out some Linux gaming using Bazi, and something with this form factor here would be perfect for the living room. But before we get started here, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by FlexiSpot, and I've personally been taking a look at these ergonomic standing desks for quite some time. Recently, I personally picked up the EN1 on Amazon during a Prime Day sale. I fell in love with it, so I reached out to the company to see if they offer anything larger for unboxing videos and build videos, stuff that we do over here on the channel. And sure enough, they were kind enough to send over their E6. This thing is massive, coming in at 55 inches long. It's got a single piece bamboo top here, dual lift actuators because it is a much larger desk and it'll do up to 325 pounds. The adjustment panel is up here with memory presets and there's even safety features built in with this unit so if it does kind of tug on a cord or bump something it'll automatically stop going up or down depending on what the thing's doing at the time and the e6 that i have here does come with a set of wheels if you want to install them but this will do anywhere from 24.4 inches up to 40 inches high personally i've never thought a standing desk would be for me but in my studio section i've actually gotten rid of my chair i've got a small stool just in case and in my office, I've still got the chair, but I really haven't been using it that much. You can adjust it and set that preset to the exact height you want. So you can have a standing preset, sitting preset. And if you're interested in learning a little more about these FlexiSpot desks, I will leave links in the description. As you can see, I mean, this is a very small single board computer. It does support three M.2 slots on the bottom. You can do up to 12 terabytes of storage with this thing. It's not as small as a Raspberry Pi, but it is packing a lot more performance given that we've got a Ryzen APU here with 8 cores and 16 threads, plus RDNA 3 graphics. And like I mentioned, we're going to be using an operating system known as Bazite. It's really easy to install, awesome community, uh, great documentation on this operating system. Basically, depending on what system you want to install this on, you're going to go to the download section. From here, we can select our hardware. So we've got a desktop. This is exactly what I use for the mini PC, but it also works for the Legion Go, ROG Ally, GPD, AIM devices, other handheld PCs, uh, Asus laptop. So there's many different options here. We can also choose our primary GPU, AMD, NVIDIA. And with this, unfortunately, we're just not gonna get real great support with NVIDIA right now for the overlays and everything that work with the Steam Deck but Intel Arc is working. And I have tested it with the Arc 770 on one of my PC builds. A pretty cool little system. If you're interested in seeing a video like that, let me know. But once you properly select everything for your system, you're gonna download the image and you can flash it to a USB drive with something like, uh, let's say, Etcher. Then you can install it on your SSD if you want to. When it comes to the overall specs, like I mentioned, this is using the AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS, and with this we get 8 cores, 16 threads, base clock of 3.8, boost up to 5.1. We do get that Radeon 780M iGPU. It's based on RDNA 3 with 12 compute units, and it'll clock up to 2700 MHz. They're going to be offering this with 16 and 32 gigabytes of LP DDR5 at 6400, so remember this is non-user upgradable. We've got those three M.2 2280 slots, and this will support Windows or Linux. From the BIOS, we do have a couple performance settings. You can go to quiet, balanced, or performance. In performance, it'll do up to 45 watts, but we've got another section that'll allow us to go up to 54, and that's exactly what we're going to be running here with Bazi. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, definitely looks like the Steam Deck interface or uh, gamepad UI big picture mode when you've got Steam up and running in Windows, but we've got a much different system here because it is running Linux. From my controller here, I can actually access our performance overlay. So if we wanna go with the overlay on the side, we've got it set up just like we do on the Steam Deck. Uh, frame limiter, I've got the frame limit disabled right now. Does support VRR over HDMI or USB type C. HDR is supported. We can allow tearing, half rate shading. Manual GPU clock isn't going to work from here, but I do have simple TDP control installed. So with this mini PC, we do have full control over that system. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can go with uh, system wide FSR if you want to. And moving down here to Decky, I've got CSS loader installed so we can add different themes. And right now I think I've got the Outrun theme going. 
just gives us a little bit of different coloration, but this can totally be disabled if you want that stock Steam Deck look. Most of these little systems, you know, only support SODIMM RAM up to 5600 megahertz, at least with the 7000 and 8000 series Ryzen chips. We've got LP DDR5 here, and it is running much faster than most of these other little PCs can handle. And keep in mind, we've also got a desktop interface. So if we head over here to power at any given time, we can switch to desktop. Uh, everything we need in an operating system is here. We've already got some pre-installed software, but one of my favorite things here is actually from Utilities, the Bazite Portal. This easily allows you to install different applications without having to run terminal or even getting into something like the Discover Store. So we'll just choose Next, and from here, we can set this up to do our BIOS and firmware updates, but you know, with this little PC, I don't think we're gonna be fetching those. This is more for, let's say the uh, ROG Ally or even the Legion Go. Decky Loader, EMU Deck, all of this can just be checked and it's kind of an automatic installer to let you get that stuff up and running with ease. But yeah, let's just say you wanted to use this as a desktop PC for media playback, get a little bit of work done, maybe even a little bit of photo editing, not a problem to do so. And uh, Wagedroid is also installed. I have not messed around with this on Bazite yet, but basically it'll allow you to run Android apps in this operating system. And if you wanna go right back to gaming mode, and keep in mind, the way this is set up out of the box, it's always gonna go into our gaming mode or big picture mode, gamepad UI, whatever you wanna call it, just so we have that Steam Deck look all the time. But so far, everything's been working out pretty well on this system. And if you wanted to change the resolution of a game up past that 1080p mark, Let's say Spider-Man Miles Morales. We're gonna go in here, over to our little settings cog, down to properties, general, game resolution, and from here you can change it. So if I was to go to 4K right now, from the game itself, I could go from 4K all the way down, but since I'm just running this at 1080p for most of the stuff, I'm gonna keep it right there at 1920 by 1080. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into a little more gaming, and we're gonna go with Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> All right, so checking it out here, not too bad. I'm actually seeing a little better performance over here than I was in Windows using the same settings. 1080 low with FSR 3 frame gen on. If you wanna run this without frame gen, it's totally possible to do so, and you're gonna see an average of around 71 FPS, but with frame gen, it's gonna take us well above that. And like I said, I did go into the BIOS and take this up to 54 watts. If you're just in performance mode, it's gonna run at 45, but the cooler on this thing will handle 54. Checking out Doom Eternal, really good performance, medium settings, 1080, no resolution scale. Got the on-screen metrics in the top left-hand corner and the in-game metrics in the top right-hand corner. You can see that resolution scale is totally off. Usually we do turn it on, but with this setup here, we don't need it at all. Here's Spider-Man Remastered, and you're also gonna see this same kind of performance in Spider-Man Miles Morales. We're at 1080 medium, and since this game launched, we've gotten a lot of great updates for these iGPUs. I mean, performance has definitely been increasing over the past year or so. Here's Vampire Hunters. This is such a fun game. I would highly recommend trying it out. If you're running a Steam Deck, it's definitely worth getting. With this setup, we're able to go up to 1440p, high settings. It's not a super hard game to run, but it's still nice to know that we can take it up that high. Black Myth Wukong, just using that built-in benchmark, we're at 1080 low with FSR plus frame gen. This is how you gotta run a game like this. Uh, unfortunately, with this 780M iGPU, does struggle without that frame gen on. And of course, we did add some resolution scale, so at 60%, we saw an average of 67 FPS. Half-Life 2, with the anniversary, I figured we'd go ahead and boot it up on this system. 1440p, very high, running at over 100 FPS. I was hoping we could lock this down at 120, given, you know, my monitor's refresh rate. It is dipping down at those very high settings, but I'm not complaining because it looks great here and plays just fine. Attention, 
And finally, God of War Ragnarok. 1080, low. Just like Wukong, we did need to add some frame gen here if you want to get over that 60 mark. And with this, you can see we're up in the 90. Actually, we saw an average of 92 FPS with this game. And I gotta say, I mean, in my opinion, this is one of the best PlayStation ports over to PC so far. And I hope they just keep getting this good because even on lower end iGPUs than what we've got here with that 780M, I've seen some awesome performance, albeit at a lower resolution. So yeah, going into this, I knew we'd see some pretty decent performance here, given that we've got that 780M and the ability to take that wattage up. If you didn't want to burn as much power with this, you could go to balanced mode. We're not going to see those kind of frame rates, but if you don't mind playing at a lower resolution, say 900p, then this thing would be good to go at that balanced mode. TDP with that is around 35 to 38, but even at 54 watts, mainly because we've got an open air cooler here, this thing didn't hit thermal throttle. And performance with this Ryzen powered x86 single board computer is really great with Linux gaming. If you're interested in checking out the Windows performance this thing puts out, I'll leave a link for that video I created in the description. And as soon as the Indiegogo launches, I will leave links down below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you've got any questions or you want to see anything else running on this, just let me know in the comments. Like always, thanks for watching.